Here's a question for you. Is there a new type of discrimination on the rise? Well, a New York City bar refusing to serve drinks to a customer just because he was wearing a red pro-Trump Make America Great Again hat. Greg Piatek was even asked to leave the bar after he told bartenders his support from for President Trump was not a joke. But you know what? Now he's fighting back. He's suing the bar. And his attorney, Paul Legere, is here. Paul, um, so the bartenders were repeatedly asked if it was a joke and he was refused service. I mean, but doesn't the law say to that bar, yeah, you can kick people out if you want. You don't have to serve them. The law says that they can kick people out if they want. But what the law also says under the New York City Administrative Code is that they can't kick someone out based on creed. And if one were to take a look at the very dictionary definition of the word creed, that includes a set of political beliefs. This is a country that's based on freedom. And from the very onset and inception of this nation, our founding fathers wanted to ensure that people like my client would have the opportunity to speak. So given this is not a government actor, but the New York City law protects him. And moreover, bars like this in New York City should be judging my client by his personal character, not by his choice in political really candidate. really interesting. So in your suit, you say, you say the manager of the bar, the manager of the bar said to your client, quote, anyone who supports Trump or believes what you believe is not welcome here. You need to leave right now. We will not serve you. So if you, you have a creed, you have a belief system. How does that fall in terms of discrimination? Is it free speech or what is it? Mm -hmm. Well, I think what you have here is a combination of the two. Certainly, my client had a right to say what he wanted. But more importantly, under the New York City Administrative Code, he had a right to profess his belief in his creed. And it's important to note, he didn't wear that hat as a symbol of politics. He wore that hat because he was in New York City visiting the 9-11 Memorial Museum. And he was paying tribute to the fallen victims and heroes of 9-11. And I'm proud to defend him for you that know, it's cause. Interesting.